Okay, so what we're trying to demonstrate here is the problem that is happening with this laptop's USB-C as compared to this laptop's USB-C. They're both Pipo tablets, a Snapdragon 850. Um, as you can see, the USB is plugged into this machine and the second sc uh, screen at the back is going on. So we can just, we'll just move the uh, device manager so you can see. The key thing we want to see is that the USB that works fine, hub that works fine on, on this machine does not work on, on this other machine. And we can demonstrate a few other things that help us see that. So we plug from here, screen disappears. Uh, we'll plug it back in again to see how long it takes before it comes back on. So when, when we plug it in, obviously it takes a little bit of time for the USB to be detected, the hub, and so, and the data shows up on the screen. Um, so we do have a mouse, uh, the mouse is is moving, but we'll try it, we'll open up using the mouse, oh, so you're not seeing me use the mouse. Okay, so the mouse has been used for moving, and we'll open up the... Uh, file Explorer, so we can see that the USB thumb storage is there as well. Let's drive D, and we'll confirm that by taking it out. All right, we'll open up the File Explorer again to see that it's no longer there. So we open this PC, and all we have is the default C drive and a network uh, storage device, which is relevant for this. So I guess the, the key thing is, is when these devices are connected, the universal bus controller will show a second USB hub, root hub, uh, the first one being what's on the machine itself. It will also show uh, on the monitors that there's two monitors now detected. And once we plug the USB, um, thumb drive in, you also see it come up, it gets detected down here, but we also um, will see it as a portable device. So there's the stone go. So we'll go back to file the file manager and here it is showing up here. Okay, so the, the key um, problem is that you put the same device into the uh, other tablet and it doesn't work. So we plug it in, give it some time to detect. Uh, the mouse is captured, so let's see. So the mouse lets us rearrange the device manager. And we'll take a look at, see it's been detected. So, so at this point here, it's been detected. And the portable device has also been detected this time. Uh, and the mouse obviously because now we're moving around as you can see without any changes the, the second monitor isn't working thumb drives in all the connectors are, are plugged in well we take it out no changes plug it into the other sorry just plug it into there and after things are detected, the second screen comes up. Now, the related problem that we've had with this device is that sometimes when you plug it in 
Yeah. It's inconsistent. Sometimes it'll detect the hub, other t and um, the USB device on it, and other times it doesn't. What is consistent is that it doesn't pick up the second monitor. Uh, and we, so, an, an example of where um, this we're thinking is a fault with the device is if we we grab another USB hub, take the same devices out of there. into the hub. Here it is, we plug it into the working device and again we wait for things to be detected. Uh, device manager refreshes and we see the second monitor. We see, we see that the mouse is working and it picks up the Drive. We take the same device out. Plug it into the other. So the device manager refreshes a couple of times. Yeah. It's refreshing, it's, it's seeing the hub, if you can see, it's seeing the second hub here. But then it fails to, the mouse, the mouse doesn't get detected. So uh, we'll just open file manager to see if it's found a, a, uh, this PC, this PC, this PC. It doesn't find the second, it doesn't find the USB headline, uh, the USB thumb drive. So we'll try with a third hub. So we've got, we've got three hubs all together to do test. And we'll plug it into the original one. So I'll give it some time to detect the devices. There we go. It's picked up the the mouse because we're moving it now. So so sorry, it picked up the mouse. It's picked up the drive as well as the um, second monitor at the back. Can we take it off? And we'll put it onto the the faulty people. This doesn't seem to be any refreshing. We're seeing the hub is being detected. But we're not seeing the mouse, so the mouse usually ends up in the mouse and pointers. We use the tech pad. There's usually should be two there, again, but should be two generic PMPs. There's nothing showing there. So hopefully that helps explain the problem between the two devices. Thank you very much.